Good evening, Nerdfighter for here as always. And before you guys watch this video, I just wanted to make a quick uh, announcement for you guys. I need you guys to go ahead and support HR twenty fifty eight. I need you to go to Kassad.org, go to the Vaping Militia, go to the American Vapor Society, go to SAFTA.org, just look up all that information, um, do any calls, of a calls for action in your area, uh, contact your senators, contact your state representatives, contact the mayor, the governor, whatever, of wherever you are, and ask them to support H.R. 2058, ask them to support the Cole Amendment because what you're about to watch in this video, if uh, the FDA has its way, will mean nothing because they are out to ban 99% of all vaping product products. So, just want to keep that in mind. Alright, enjoy the video. Good evening, Nerd for Terra for here as always, and welcome to the next episode of Vape Mail. Alright guys, so today we have my very, very first sample box. Yeah. So we're gonna get this sucker open and see what e liquids I got. I honestly thought it was gonna be a bigger box, um, but you get what you pay for. And I paid 20 bucks for it, so I guess this is the $20 box. So, we'll get this thing open, and I'll show you what's inside. Alright guys, so, the first one up is the first one I picked up, which is going to be the G2 Vapor Mrs. Strawberry, which is perfectly fine, because the last flavor I had on here was a strawberry flavor. I'm guessing this is just like straight up strawberry. That's just my guess. I'm probably wrong, but that's just my guess. Jeez, I almost broke the bottle. Good job, Eifer. Anyway, here we go. Here we go. Hmm. <coughs> I'm not sure what that is. It's definitely strawberry. There's something else there, I think. What the hell is that? Sorry, that's weird. Right about now, the flavor profile will be, uh, scrolling across the screen or something. It'll be on the screen somehow. <coughs> I'll do that with each one of these. It's like a, not a cream, but it's, it's definitely, definitely like a natural-ish strawberry, kinda. <sighs> but it's pretty good. I'm freaking excited. This is my first sample box. I was hoping to, I thought this was gonna be a bigger one, but I don't care. No, it's not, it's more of a candy strawberry. <coughs> There's something else I can't <coughs> quite <coughs> place. Excuse me. <coughs> Bit harsh. Uh, something else I can't quite place. Kind of earthy. If I had to guess, if I had to guess, um, weird as it seems, it's kind of a tobacco-y flavor, tobacco-ish flavor. It's not bad though. If that is tobacco, that's pretty damn good tobacco. I'm probably completely wrong. <coughs> My taste buds suck. <coughs> it being taste buds. Alright, so. That's pretty dry. Next up is... Uh, 
Deuces Wild Select Vapor Liquid. I forgot to take the plastic off. So, yeah, there we go. Easy off. Let's give it a smell. I didn't do the smell test with the last one. Oh, I'm smelling the e liquid. Let's put that down. Wow, it's hot out here. I don't know, I can't... Some sort of fruit flavor. Like a, like a fruit medley or something like that. Or as my dad would say, fruit melody. Ooh, it's kind of watermelony. Ooh, that's like a yeah, that's like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. That's what it tastes like to me, at least. I don't know if that that's what they were going for, but that's definitely what they got. It's like a Jolly Ran watermelon Jolly Rancher. That's really good. That's probably gonna be my favorite one. Mm. <clears throat> I don't want to over nick myself because I've been vaping pretty much. Alright, guys, sorry for the little interruption. My iPod ran out of space, so I had to delete some stuff. So we've tried this one. And we tried this one, so that leaves one more bottle. And here it is. This is the Invader Invader Vapor 8-Bit. So let's get that plastic off, and we'll come back to you in about one sec. Alright guys, sorry. Uh, here we go. Let's go with the final flavor. I can't tell what that is. I can't. Just like the last one, I'm not sure what it is. It smells kind of candy-ish. Kind of. Let's try her out. And just like with the last one and the first one, the flavor profile will be on the screen. I'm not sure what that is. It's kind of candy-ish. It's very sweet. Kind of apple-ish. It's like an apple-ish candy flavor. Um... It's like a candy apple. <laughs> like a green apple. It's pretty good. It's probably my least favorite out of the three. But it's pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll be honest with you, I had a feeling this was going to be the least favorite out of the three, but it's pretty good. Well, I'll probably donate this one to my local vape shop for some, they're, they might be doing something where they'll be uh, giving e-liquids to people, like little top-ups if they need it. Yeah, it's like a green apple flavor, maybe a little candy grit. <coughs> Green apple flavor. It's all right. My favorite of the two is definitely this one. Or the three, rather, is definitely this one. This will be gone before the end of the week, and next week, rather. So, let's finish this one off with a puff. From the Deuces Wild. 
burn that one off a little bit. There we go. So that's this episode of Fake Mail for you guys. My very first example box. Next time I think I'll go for a slightly larger box. Get some more flavors. We'll see what happens. Alright guys. DFTBA, vape on, and uh, as they say, convicted vapes, take it deep. So here's a little addendum to the uh, last, or the second to last vape mail video that you're seeing in this uh, montage, I guess you can call it, of videos uh, talking about the uh, Invader vapor flavor 8-bit apparently it's a strawberry flavor strawberry candy flavor definitely get candy but don't get strawberry um i probably put the flavor profile over it after i said it was a candy apple it tastes more like apple than it does strawberry to me but hey taste is subjective Good evening, Nerd Frontier Alpha here, as always, and welcome to today's episode of Vape Mail. Alright guys, so, we got the box, I got the plastic off. I love this thing, I, uh, this thing, sorry, the thing, the iPod's on, I got a, a uh, tripod for my iPod. It's friggin' awesome. Now, let's see if we can't... There we go. Get that sleeve off. And... Duh. Stupid do not eat package out of there. Let's see what we've got. Da 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 da! So it comes with... It's a little stick battery. It comes with the TFV4, I think this is the micro, 3 milliliter capacity. I think it's 3.5 milliliter capacity, uh, according to the website at least. And it comes with an extra coil head. And what else comes in this package? We got some goodies on the bottom. Let's see. We've got the little protective smoke tech ring for the uh, tank got our sorry about that got our USB charging port some uh, a little card for I guess the authenticity or something like that the user's manual and some little extra bits and that's what comes in the package. So we're going to put this little baby together. And uh, fill up the tank. And then we'll uh, vape it so you guys can see how it works. Alright, I will see you guys in just a second. Alright guys, so I got her all out and everything. And we're going to do a little filling. But first... One of the first rules of any sub ohm tank is you want to prime the coil. And the way you prime the coil is you take your juice, you take your coil, and you just do a couple of drops. Tiny little drops. That's more than enough. And I like to get it on the outside like that as well. Then we'll put this baby back together. I'm going to close up the airflow. This is how you fill it. That little 
slot right there. A little kidney shaped slot. Hopefully this is not too wide to fill it because these things are kind of wide. But I like this juice. Okay. We're going to fill her up and then get back to you guys. Sorry, it's just going to take way too long to film it. Alright guys, so we have it all filled up. Um, I think it's actually the 2.5 mil uh, ca capacity. But that's perfectly fine. So it is 5 clicks to turn on. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means on. And... Uh, uh, what's in the news, Robin? Anyway, and we can uh, vape on it. <laughs> wow, that is warm. Oh, that's why that air flows all the way closed. Holy crap! Oof. All right, so you got this little ring. Sorry, I forgot to. So you got this little ring right here. That's your airflow control. Whatever you do on one side, it doesn't on it does on all the other sides. For such a little mod, it is kind of hefty. Not that hefty, but heftier than I expected it to be. This has a twenty-two thousand mAh uh, battery, and let's see how she vapes now that I have the airflow all the way open, and I'm not gonna choke to death. That's pretty good. If you're wondering why we're not in the customary vaping spots, because it's raining out and I don't feel like getting rained on. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I apologize, guys. <coughs> wow, well, it's a coffee, epi a coffee episode. Um... Let's, you know, let's turn down the airflow just a little bit. I'm going to put about half air, about half airflow. Mmm. Flavor on this thing is pretty damn good, too. I think this is going to be my going out mod. My, like... Going places mod, and I'll use these, this thing, and my other one, like when I'm at home, and stuff like that. Like if I'm gonna be out for a little while, a couple of hours, I'll probably bring this with if it, with me. If I'm gonna be out for all day, I'll bring something a little more substantial. But she vapes pretty damn well. Comes with this little sleeve here, which I figure probably goes over the top like so. Because you can have there's a little lip for a chain or something, so you can wear it around your neck. And it's not going to go anywhere. It wouldn't make sense. I don't think it makes sense to put it like this. Although it fits like that pretty well. You don't want to hang your, your tank upside down. So, that's going to be kind of neat. Like I said, it comes with a little ring, that little ring that goes over the tank uh, to prevent shattering. But the problem with it, because this tank is so damn small, you can't see your juice levels. So, that's pretty much it for this episode of Vape Mail. So far, I'm loving this thing. It's probably going to even be better once it's fully charged because I just used it right out of the box. Uh, expect a full review for this thing um, as soon as I've uh, as soon as I've had it for a while. 
All right, so that's going to be it for this episode of Vape Mail, DFTBA, Vape On. And we'll open up that airflow all the way. Take it deep. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I just want to say one last time, please, please, please support HR 2058. Support the coal amendment and reach out to all of your representatives in the Senate, in the House of Representatives, in the governor, whatever. Anybody who represents you in your area, please reach out to them. We need to do this because, like I said at the beginning of the video, if we don't do this, the FDA will ban 99% of all vaping products. Thank you very much and have a great day. Vape on. Hey guys, just a quick reminder to go down to kasa.org if you want to continue to be able to vape the way we like to vape, if you don't want big tobacco to take over the industry and make it so we can't use the devices we want to use, use the juices we want to use and all that kind of stuff, I need you to take action, donate, do whatever you can. There will be a link in the description as always and check it out. Go to kasa.org. DFTBA and vape on.